subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Depression 7 has intensified pretty quickly into Tropical Storm Gonzalo up to maximum sustained winds of 50 miles an hour with a minimum pressure of 1,000 millibars as of 12 p.m. Eastern Time, July 21st. The storm is now expected to become the first hurricane of the Atlantic hurricane season, although it will likely weaken before it makes its main impacts on the Windward Islands. Currently at 9.9 .9 degrees north, 43.6 degrees west, a stage 2 on the CDPS scale, significant damage possible at the landfall zone if it makes a direct landfall on one of the Windward Islands. The exact location of that would not yet be known. Distance of miles right now, closing in on these pretty quickly now. It's going in a nice clip, 960s from Barbados, St. Vincent 1050, Granada 1078, Trinidad 1059, St. Lucia 1050 miles away from the center. No warnings currently in effect yet. This will change probably within the next 24 hours at the most now, uh, just because of the pace this storm is moving. It's still a bit too far out for them to initiate warnings on it, uh, but that will change in the near future. You'll see some of those watches for Tropical Storm and potentially even hurricane watches start to prop up. Here's the latest run from the GFS model. You can see the storm, uh, just the area of influence with it really. The GFS is a bit of a laggard in uh, seeing its current initialization, but you can see the area of influence related to Gonzalo move through the Windward Islands around the day 3 to 4 mark or so, and then push into the Caribbean Sea. And this is where there's divergence in the models. Many of them, or most of the global models, actually completely disintegrate the storm in the Eastern and Central Caribbean, uh, while others like the HWF try to keep it uh, closer to hurricane strength, and that's why there's a disparity uh, between the intensity guidance. It is very low confidence overall, and small storms fluctuate uh, in intensity quickly at times. Sea surface temperatures, though, won't be a problem for the storm. 28s and 29s around where the storm is. Uh, this won't really change. Uh, its main inhibitors uh, will be higher shear and drier air as it continues to move westward as we get later into the forecast period. Here's the wind field forecast from the GFS model run. Again, you can see how small this system really is right now, uh, just seeing how small its wind field is. Uh, you see the greens are tropical storm force, which the GFS does have picking up on, brings them through part of the Windward Islands, and then disintegrates the storm in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. Uh, like I said, though, and this is why the NHC is now calling for a hurricane from this storm, is the divergence between the global models and some of the ones like the HWRF alongside its very quick organization that's allowed to become 50 miles an hour sustained winds could allow it to become a hurricane within the next 24 hours to 48 hours uh, before starting a weakening trend now, once we get later into the forecast period. To tropical storm force winds, these are really only going to go up from here. Barbados, 18%, uh, Granada, 22%, St. Lucia, 14% right now. Uh, as the storm gets closer to land and higher certainty about where it'll impact exactly, those odds will go up, likely for most, if not all, of those locations. Here's the track forecast from the um, HWRF and GFS and all those, some of the model spreads, really. Uh, you can see bit further south overall from the northernmost models than yesterday. We're pretty clear cut now to Windward Island impact, closer to the central to southern part of them, uh, in between Trinidad and St. Lucia, looks to be the increasing likelihood of a zone of impact. But we do have a cone for a reason. This thing could go far south as South America in theory, and as far north as you know some of the other islands in the Leeward Islands, actually. Latest satellite imagery of the storm you can see much better organized than yesterday. Uh, definitely a tropical cyclone. 50 miles an hour tropical storm is the latest again. Um, it could become a hurricane. That is the forecast now from the National Hurricane Center. We'll keep you guys updated with the latest. Make sure to subscribe for more. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.